Hey guys, today we're going to be learning how to create the Photoshop logo using, well, Photoshop. So we're going to start by creating a new document. It's going to be a 1920 by 1080 and it's going to be transparent. So I'm going to click OK. Now I want to fill this background. So I'm going to go with my gradient tool. I'm going to click a custom color. It's going to be something like a blue. You can pick your own color, but I'm just going to pick a darker blue than a lighter blue. Okay. So I'm going to click and drag to make this background. And I'm going to lock it. And I'm going to click, double click on it to rename it. I'm going to just rename it background. So I'm going to go to my rectangular tool and before I want to create the shape I want to drag two lines here between in the center to make it in the center and like this until they click like this. If you don't see this ruler press Control R on your keyboard and it should appear. So I'm going to create my rectangular shape by holding shift and uh, creating sort of that square shape of the logo and I'm going to fill it with the logo color which is blue like this one right here in the stroke I'm going to pick uh, sort of a color like this one and I'm going to increase the stroke something like there and I'm going to move it in the center and I'm going to go to my typing tool and I'm just going to click randomly right here and type down PS now the font, I did not download any new font I, this exists already in the Windows default font I don't know about Mac but it exists in Windows so yeah I'm just going to drag this in the middle and I'm going to increase the size of it by holding shift and dragging it from one of the corners and I'm going to put it right here in the center I'm going to activate this drag it again in the center and I'm going to change the color of it to the same as the stroke color I'm going to click OK actually I don't like this font, I'm going to use a different font So I'm just going to change the fonts from my fonts. I think this one looks fine. Decrease the size here just a little bit. After creating this text, when we're not done yet. I'm going to go again and create a new rectangular shape. I'm going to change it to white and then I'm going to move it aside right here I'm going to try to put it on top of the logo like this okay so I'm just going to check this and I'm going to drag this on top of the rectangular layer and I'm going to right click and I'm going to click create clipping mask and I'm going to double click on that gradient overlay I'm going to choose the two colors first color is going to be this one and the second color just jump with this one randomly and uh, I'm going to click OK sort of drag it around and I'm gonna click on one of the corners of the shining effect click on this switch between pre-transform and wrap model models sorry click on one side right here and sort of make this while holding shift to give it this shiny look I'm gonna check this now the next step is pretty optional 
I'm gonna click on the rectangular tool. I'm gonna actually make a new group first off. I'm gonna call it PS logo. And I'm gonna drag those into the group. The text is gonna be on top. And I'm gonna simply duplicate this group and I'm gonna go to edit transform and vertical and I'm gonna just drag it down right here something like this till it matches okay now this looks fine just a little bit okay now this looks good okay so I'm gonna create a clip it I'm gonna create a mask to this copied uh, group and I'm gonna go to my brush tool with the black color active and I'm gonna reduce the opacity first of the layer just a little bit and I'm gonna enlarge my brush then while holding shift I'm gonna erase like this and just reduce the opacity just a little bit more I'll just increase it just a little bit more okay now this looks fine and I'm gonna check my background so I'm gonna select my background I'm gonna go to my select tool which is this one the rectangular marquee tool and I'm gonna drag sort of like a half of the background I'm gonna right click and click uh, I'm gonna create a new layer via copy from this background I'm gonna go to edit transform and flip vertical see this way it looks kind of giving it a bit of more of floor feel or whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna create a mask to this layer copied layer and I'm gonna go to my brush tool and while holding shift I'm just gonna erase just a little bit and I'm gonna hit control H to hide out my ruler my ruler line so that's it